Hi, so in this particular video we've been asked to solve the inequality and then we've got 2a over 5 minus 2 is greater than a over 4 plus 1. Okay, so the way that we treat these types of uh, questions, if you can imagine that it's a linear equation, so effectively you've got a fraction here and a fraction here, and this is um, an equal sign in the middle. So whatever we do to the left hand side, provided we do it to the right, then we're okay. So in this case, I've got a 5 and a 4. I'm going to multiply through by the lowest common multiple. And that just made my life a little bit easier because then I can get rid of the 5 and the 4. What I mean by that is the lowest common multiple of 5 and 4 is 20. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 20. And I end up writing this Okay, and I'm going to multiply that side by 20, and that's going to be a over 4 plus 1. And then it's really just a case of multiplying out the brackets. Now, if I multiply out the brackets for this one here, I'm going to multiply that 20 times 2a over 5. Well, what I really get with this is 40a, so 20 times 2 is 40a divided by 5. Well, what I can do is I can simplify that down to 5 into 40 is 8, so that becomes 8a. And that's brilliant because it means then that I lose this uh, denominator over here. So this first term will become 8a. And then my second term will become 20 times minus 2, well that's going to be minus 40 and that's going to be greater than, and then I've got a similar situation here where I've got 20 times a over 4 becomes 20a over 4. Well, I'm going to simplify that a little bit further, divide through by 4, and that becomes 5a. Well, that's excellent again, because again, I've lost the denominator, so that becomes 5a. So that's that one there, and then this last one will be 20 times plus 1, but that's going to be plus 20. And then really it's just a case of uh, putting all the A terms on the left-hand side and the numbers on the right-hand side, just in the same way that you would do with a linear equation. So I'm going to minus 5A from this side. That becomes then 8A minus 5A is going to be 3A. Okay, and I've lost that, so I've got now 3a minus 40 is greater than 20, so that's now gone. Okay, then I need to get this 40 over here, so I'm going to add 40 to both sides, and I get 3a is greater than 20 plus 40 is 60, so now I've lost that. I've got 3a is greater than 60, and then I'm going to divide through by 3. If I divide through by 3, I get a is greater than 20 and that's to solve this inequality. And that really is it. So the take-homes from this is you need to remember that you're trying to get rid of these denominators by multiplying through by the lowest common multiple. You've also got to remember that you are multiplying the whole of this side. It's not just this term, it's the whole of it. So the best thing is to use brackets and then it reminds you to multiply out each of the terms. I hope that's been okay for you. Please do add a comment. I'll try to uh, add some more questions in this particular playlist. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.